Our spotlight story tonight is about the artist behind the steel horses overlooking Vantage and where he would like to go with the sculpture. Here is reporter Jeff Chu with the story. It's been a Grant County landmark and visitor attraction since 1989. That's when Chuila artist David Govader created the Wild Horses Monument high above the Columbia River's Wanapum Lake. Visitors typically spot the 15 wild horses crowning the rugged ridge as they drive into the county on Interstate 90. Some pull off at the I-90 eastbound scenic overlook with views of the Vantage Bridge. The more adventurous take a short hike up the steep trail of loose gravel to the ridge. There they get an even more dramatic angle on the rusted artwork stretching 200 feet and frozen in full gallop. Few know the project is only half complete, Govadere said in a recent phone interview from his Chuila studio. The metal sculptor, who has produced several public art pieces around the state, dubbed the Wild Horse's creation, Grandfather Cuts Loose the Ponies. It was dedicated on public land in 1989 for Washington's centennial celebration. Govader said the second part of the sculpture, as illustrated in his original sketch, was to include a Native American motif basket. It would be 36 feet in diameter and tilted on its side to depict the release of the wild horses. Govader said he needs $500,000 to create the basket and complete the project. He admitted that raising such money was daunting, but he still holds out hope that it will be completed. He said he recently enlisted help to try to find deep pockets donors in Grant County and on the state's west side. To quote Govader, I've always said I want to get the basket done before I leave the planet. He recently turned 63. The engineering bill to ensure the basket was safely installed to withstand occasional winds of 80 miles per hour would be $100,000 alone. Govadere came up with the concept in 1987 when he pulled over and hiked up the ridge as he said he often did to take in nature and the spectacular view. He said he knew that the area was once the last place where wild horses were rounded up in the state. He thought he could tell the story in a positive fashion. An up-close look at the weathered steel-plated sculpture reveals details unseen from the highway. Visitors, many of them from west of the Cascades, frequently climb to the artwork which calls them from the highway and the scenic overlook. I love it. I've driven past it a lot of times, but never really stopped and taken a long look at it, but I think it's really neat. Govadere more recently joined with his friend and fellow sculptor Keith Powell, an Afreda native and Grand Coulee resident, to create the so-called sundial sculpture, Calling Healing Waters, which overlooks Soap Lake. I'm Jeff Chu for i Fiber one News. Thank you, Jeff, and we will be right back after this.